a lot of different things can happen. Typically, uh, police officers, CHP officers in Marin County are trained to, you know, do a DUI investigation when they pull someone over. I mean, that's one of the first things when there's some type of erratic driving or someone's called someone in and they pull them over at the cops, the officers are looking for. So what you'll find is, is most of them are trained to get up to your window or the passenger window and kind of get their nose as close as they can so that they can get a whiff and see if they can smell alcohol or what is called the odor of an alcoholic beverage. They'll also ask you if you've had anything to drink. And if you tell them you have, no matter what you tell them, they're usually going to um, ask you at some point to get out of the car and then start conducting some field sobriety tests. Um, assuming that's what happened, they'll, they'll do tests. They'll do what's called the horizontal gaze nystagmus test where they'll be um, going back and forth in front of your eyes or looking for the involuntary jerking of the eye, whether your eyes are tracking smoothly. Um, there's other tests that, that have to do with balance. Typically, they'll do what's called the one leg stand test and a, a walk and turn, which is the walk the line test. There's some others they'll do sometimes. But anyway, once they've run you through these tests, they'll ask you, have you, uh, you know, are you willing to uh, blow into this device? Or what they'll typically say is now we'd like you to, or I want you to blow into this test to make sure, this device to make sure that you're okay to drive. And if you decide you're not going to, and, you know, you've told them you had something to drink, and typically if they don't think you were completely sober, they may arrest you for DUI because their thinking is why would someone, um, you know, not blow into this machine when you have every right not to blow into it. So that's, um, that's you know, your problems are going to get going there if you don't blow into that machine because then they'll cuff you, arrest you for DUI, and then they'll tell you that you need to take either a breath or they're supposed to tell you that you need to take a breath or a blood test um, since you've been arrested for a DUI in California. And if you decide or say you don't want to or start questioning that, and they, if they think that you're refusing to take a test, then they'll read you another admonishment, which says that you could lose your uh, privilege to drive your license for a year or more, and that they'll get a warrant from a judge, and they'll, which will require you to do a blood draw. And if you still refuse to put your arm out and cooperate, which is usually done at, at the station or a hospital, um, then they can hold you down and forcibly take your blood. Uh, so that's, that's typically what happens when you've been drinking, when an officer pulls you over. Um, doesn't happen every time that you go through this whole thing, but, um, you know, one drink, most officers are, are usually pretty good at, at saying that there's really nothing there. They might run you through a couple tests and, and say, yeah, you look fine and check your eyes and not see anything and see your balance is good. Um, but uh, more often than not, unfortunately, in these situations, they turn into DUI arrests. Um, and that's, that's unfortunate, but uh, it's, it's what they're looking for. And it's, um, it's what happens when you're in Marin County or any other county in the San Francisco Bay Area, California, or, or in this country, um, and a police officer pulls you over and, and thinks that you've been drinking and that you're impaired or over the limit. 